behind him. Behind his back. Oh, my. What a play by Gordon Dragic. The winner with the steal. And the slam. And the deep slam is costing them in a major way. As Jones hit the squeezes it up. Oh, get it. Drew the foul. Continue to mount one of the most memorable and magnificent runs in team history. So much of their attention has been focused on the teams ahead of them, those who they are desperately trying to catch over the course of the season's final six weeks. But while their sights are deservedly set on those whose proximity now brings them tantalizingly close in the standings, Miami cannot take for granted those they have passed on their rise to redemption. All great things must come to an end, and the 13-game win streak reaches the finish line here in Philadelphia. Magic played with deep pride and resolve. They earned the road victory tonight. They outplay the Heat. Though the record may show that the Heat's next two opponents currently occupy two of the conference's three worst spots, their performances against Miami this season give credence to the age-old sports adage, don't play the record. Despite putting together a stretch of success that rivals any in this league since mid-January, the Heat have seen themselves stumble against three teams most likely headed for an early season exit. The most recent loss in Dallas serves as a reminder that in these final 22 games, there are no gimmicks and no givens. Everything must be earned. It's X. First quarter. It's raining threes. It's like a March Madness startup. Hey, Matt, Matt! Yeah, knocking it down. <laughs> Can you hear the rain? It's falling. Here it comes. Listen. Oh, somebody's getting clever with sound effects. The dragon gripping the net. I need more Babbitt again. Hey, Matt, Matt! <laughs> Schwackers. Kids, that's an old bit. Abbott and Costello. Uh, you might want to look that one up. True. Tyler Johnson. Trifecta, you betcha. The rain has stopped. Somebody, somebody give me an umbrella. Jay Rich, got the second highest score in the first quarter of the season. With a nice little lefty leg. In your honor, by the way, 37, 23. Okay, now let's go to the second quarter. Well, Carl White with a little defense right here. Excellent step in by O'Carroll. Saw Anderson completely off balance there and got right in front outside the restricted zone. Now Carl on the receiving end of the Ooh, nasty. I'm going to see that again. Gorgeous toss by Tyler, drawing the defense. Look at the reach back, though. Ocaro showing a little wingspan with the crush out. I love it low and I love it live. Oh, that angle's the best. You want to see the uh, Brothers Johnson? Of course. The Blue Trippers? Listen, let me tell you something. Starts with a little defense, and then it gets nice uh, Not nice or nasty, but nice -ty. I'm getting Michelle A in every show for the rest of the year. Look at that. Mm. So good. Just the passing ability by James Johnson continues to impress me. Look at him here, breaking down Holmes and going to that left hand. It's silky and smooth off the glass. He can hang in the air for Big Fella, can he? It, it tickles me every time somebody says Holmes, because that's what I used to call everybody when I was growing up. What's up, Come Holmes? On, Holmes? What are you doing, Holmes? TJ, nice little pull up. Now downhill, Dragon, finding Ellington. Oh, that looks so good when he leaves his hand, doesn't it? Every time. Every Looks time. like it's going in. Now some two-man basketball. We got the Dragon. We got the Hassanathon. That's a Ooh. pass from Hassan Whiteside, everybody. He had three assists tonight. And now we're turning the favor. Feed the big fella. He's starving. I love that little flipper. I don't know how you feel about it. I love it. It's time for the Cleveland Clinic team play the game for it. Flipper. The flipper. Hey, flipper. How many Heat players touch the rock on this one? That's two. Is that three? That's four? That's five? Can I go with six? The same guy touched it twice, right. and he gets the finish right there. <laughs> the dragon. That's a 20-point game. Okay, 20. Let's go to the third quarter. I need some Philly chains. Oh, did he pause him? Did he park him? 
and he's gonna put him away. Come on, baby. <laughs> I want to see it again. Clark Kellogg, I owe you some money. I stole your line, but that is phenomenal work by the Philly Chiefs. Gordon, watch yeah. the hesitation. Watch the hesitation. Ooh. Love it. Too. That's how you throw someone off with great speed. You slow it down, and then you explode quickly. Dion took things over in the third quarter. Oh, mercy. Oh, getting that left hand, too. Didn't even yell N1 on that one. I don't Not know. that one. Oh, my goodness. Now he's on the left side with the right hand. Okay, I thought he was paying homage to you right there. All right, let's go. Check the vision on this one. All right, this is the old Princeton Okie Doke. All right. Tony taught me this one a little bit earlier, you know? Yeah, it's a back, it's a back door. door when you guys dribble at you. Back door. McConnell locked in. Too much looking at the ball. You got to stay with your man. Gorgeous pick and roll again. Johnson. To Johnson. I got to get one of these Brothers Johnson's t-shirts back. Yeah, they're solid. They look great. We just had to get Sergio in. Random, random Rodriguez split. They got blown. They got the doors blown off. They don't. Okay, they cut it to 14. Right here at the end of three. All right, 88, 74. I bet not one more sixer in my highlight. All right. Fourth corner. Tyler for Wayne. Oh, is it waning? It's waning out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sound effects are driving me crazy. Oh, that's good, dude. Oh, Jay Rich finds Tyler. Splash. I want one more. I need one more. Jay Rich looking for Ellington at Chapel Hill. You know they teach the square root of nine equals three. Is it more? This one's for the bus driver. Find your keys. Not yet. There's more. Wait a minute. I don't have any more on my sheet, but I understand we've got threes coming. He hit six threes on nine tries. It's still waning. <laughs> I need that new umbrella that's on late night TV that closes up so you don't get wet. That is phenomenal. Ooh, double J throwing it down. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's that's nice. Karate Wrecking Kid stuff. This right there. right there by the Mr. Miyagi figure. Jay Rich is going to get this rock from Babbitt. <clears throat> and now, is it okay now? Bus driver. Oh, there are your keys right there. You go get them. Go get them. <laughs> Nothing personal. That's just how he get down sometimes. <laughs> Score 125 points and do whatever you want to do. That's right. You know what I mean? Guard your man. Take a look at some of the numbers right there. Decent night, usually for the Sixers right there, 98 points, but just too much. When the avalanche is rolling down the other side and there's a flaming ball of fire coming right at you. Thing that he continues to grow and he tied a career high with three assists tonight. But look at this snatch out of the air. He had four blocks. He was physical on the defensive end. Offensively, he's developed that nice touch on the quick catch and flip shot. Look at that. It's a little awkward looking, but it's so hard to block because he gets it up quick with a little touch. The big man. Uh, here he's just taking up space and being physical in the paint. 15 points, 11 boards, three of them offensive, getting second chance opportunities. The quick uh, outlet passes to help lead the offense, and those blocks also uh, really enforce the basket. I thought he had Okafor really shying away from the basket after the first quarter uh, because of plays like that. I mean, he took that charge right in his chest. You don't see too many seven-footers do that, particularly who are shot blockers. Good decision by uh, Whiteside there. His continued growth, I think, is, is just showing out there on the floor. You mentioned it, winning plays. Well, he had plenty of those tonight. Chemistry continued to develop. When one's handling, the other guy can get off the ball and look to score. Dragic was good and efficient as usual. Played less than half a game, but still impactful with 15 points, a couple of assists, three steals. Uh, and, and again, keeping everyone um, on board with his decision making and his overall playmaking skills. So a nice job by Gorn. Uh, look at him here with the offhand finish. And then Dion, Philly G's having an opportunity to I'm go in. back at the team. Thank like you. that. Yeah, of course. I got to institute that into my vernacular here. Oh, and look at uh, the hesitation crossover by Dion. I, I believe his efficiency is, is really the big thing that he continues to improve. You know, when I think back to where he played previously, just trying to get up shots, he is picking his spots so nicely, when to attack, when to distribute, and it shows. I mean, he's shooting a better percentage, 7 of 12, 15 points for him, a couple of assists again, uh, four boards, you know, just doing a very solid job. I, and we got to start with the guy who was the leading scorer for the team, and that's Tyler Johnson. 
He was outstanding. Look at this aerial dynamics getting out there beyond the arc as well. Just a complete game finishing on the break off the dribble. Uh, let's watch him here get out in transition, uh, make a play. They also had a nice job by uh, Carl White who did a very uh, solid job making shots and, and defending. And then Wayne Ellington was spectacular out there beyond the arc, six of nine from three. Uh, a season high for him. He had 18 points. And James Johnson, again, 14 points for the big fella. He always fills the stat sheet. Assists, rebounds, three assists, four boards, couple of blocks. Tremendous job. Uh, look at him here taking the charge. I think he's filling in. He's got that UD role where he's been able to take those charges. So, tremendous job uh, by these guys. Again, they just really wore down, I thought, the Sixers bench in particular. Helped go on that long run uh, in the second quarter. How much do you like the way that you guys are playing at this point where you can have a game in Dallas where things don't end up the way you want them? particularly on the defensive end, and you can turn it right back and know exactly what you have to fine-tune to get back to the winning way. Uh, for sure. Um, no, I think it's just trust, understanding that uh, we've come a long way. Um, I think down on early in the year, we'd have a, a loss like that. We might get down on ourselves, but uh, this team's really coming together. Um, obviously, we got a, a tough stretch coming up, but, um, you know, it's good to be playing well going into that stretch. You guys don't use the word revenge a whole lot, but how nice was it to beat the Sixers, particularly the way that you played against them up there at their place? This year? I mean, they're a tough team, though. They play hard, they're well coached, um, and they don't give up. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's definitely gratifying to, to get a win against them and even the series and not let them uh, take that. So, uh, yeah. It's the eighth time this season you've scored 20 points or more. Team six and two. So that impacts winning, as you guys like to talk about all the time. What is happening offensively on the floor when you find yourself in that space? Um, you know, it's just different guys, different nights. Uh, you know, tonight I, I felt like I was in a good rhythm, so the ball kept finding me. Um, other games, you know, it's going Hassan, Dion, James, uh, could be anybody. So, um, you know, tonight was just a, a night I felt like I was in rhythm. We saw James with his Johnson Brothers T-shirt on already. What do you think? You like yours? Oh, yeah, I definitely like those. Uh, I, I heard they're a big hit, too. I need like a 2XL if you could swing one my way. I'd appreciate no, no, it. No, 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 we get in the weekend. You're gonna get that beach body soon. It's medium? I'll uh, get you definitely to a medium for sure. Soon meaning I might need 18 months. 18 months? Yeah. We're gonna set our goals higher for you, big time. I hear you go to the gym on off days, so oh, yeah. I have to start doing that. Come with me. No, 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 that's over. This conversation is done. <laughs> Thank you, number eight. Congratulations. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Nice win. Tyler Johnson alongside and now headed out. Oh, get it? That man loves a bald head. He's gone. Victorious 125-98, the final. Speaking of the Johnson Brothers t-shirt, it's not just a shirt, it's real life. James in the air. Tyler, finish up strong. Two of his 24. We're back to finish up strong ourselves in a moment. Stay right there. That's the final. You know what? I just realized I'll be standing in for you for pregame. Oh, oh that's right. If you'd like to catch tonight's game, though, tonight at midnight, tomorrow at noon, <laughs> replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball for Eric Reed, the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as Christian Hewitt, John Crotty, the Rothsteins. I'm Jason Jackson. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Here's the final take.